now we're ready. So really quick guys, I just wanted to come to you this morning and do a quick flip through of the new journal that I just got back. So this was Somerset's September October cover. Um, here is the journal that I did and the tutorial is in this magazine. Here is the journal back um, from Somerset. So, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I tried to do it on white background because this is a clear journal. And just show you guys what it looked like in um, flip, for, flip, flip through format. Um, the stitching, I used a lot of threads here, a lot of found words, um, vintage photos. As you see, the interesting factor in this book is the fact that it is completely clear. These are photo sleeves um, for like Project Life or whatever um, that I made this with. So, um, if you didn't get the book, you can still get it through Somerset um, and the back issues. Um, but it walks you through exactly how I did it. I just wanted to do a really quick flip through before work this morning. So as you can see, my dogs are barking, um, but you can see all the way through it. So I think kind of the tricky part is to make sure that when you're doing your layout that it's pleasing to both sides. Um, and of course, I love stitching and I love crackle paste. And you can see the crackle. Filming this is interesting because you have that glare of the plastic. So I apologize for that. But you can see um, the crackle paste and scribbles. That is kind of a thing for me. As well as um, stitching and texture and staples and fabric and all of the things. Um, and then I loved using the back side of the photos. So like this is from... Um, June the 1st, 1941, and so I loved that it had that, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit tighter here, it had that handwriting on the back, so I captured that by not covering up the back side of that photo, because I really liked it, and then this one I added some eco dyed papers around here. Um, and some splats and splatters and all kinds of textural elements. And this uh, young lady, I named her M. Skinner. I'm thinking that's like Marie Skinner. Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. But more eco dyed paper. And again, just making sure that it is interesting on both sides. And staples with threads because I just like it. And then here, I added a different element, which was the gold foil. That was fun. And I believe that's cheesecloth that I dyed with something. I really can't remember now. They had this one for quite a while. And I did it in, like, May um, at the art retreat. So... But look at, they are fun. I don't know what they were doing, but they look like they were hunting or something. I don't know. I love finding old vintage photos and kind of making my own story up. And y'all know I love stitching, hand stitching. So I tore that picture apart and then stitched it back together. And then there's more crackle paste and then some little giblets there. And my beloved masking tape, which I think adds a little bit of something, something. And then this was a house from 1965. And I took, you can see here, I took an emery board or some sanding paper there and just kind of distressed it a little more. And made some uh, distress marks on it, which I think made interest. And then I tore that edge. Um, because I'm a fan of tearing things. Y'all know this. And then I gave it this address off of another envelope, 640 National Road. And then um, a staple at the top. And then this one had a beautiful, this photo had a beautiful, long, um, intricate, detailed handwriting on the back. So I left that as kind of the 
interest and distress this photo a little bit um, for that and then added that stitching with the cheesecloth or maybe that was muslin I'm not sure and then this one same thing I did some hand stitching here and I added some pops of red from kind of the red over her eyes to the red stitching in the very back and I apologize for the glare because it is kind of hard because this journal is completely clear so um, it was kind of a weird I just come across these and um, I knew I wasn't going to use this and I was like I always like to use things and then I love all of that messy hand stitching in the back and then I just added her dress so I kind of just y'all don't want to see the inside of my brain sometimes and how it works it's kind of crazy um, but I did want to pop in I wanted to um, just show you guys how it actually looks I Somerset does an amazing job of showing um, all of the pictures inside of the magazine it's a beyond me how amazing their photos are but I wanted to just do like a quick flip through for you guys to show you what it looks like how it looks and let you know that she is back home I'm not sure what I'm going to do with her next but um, I enjoy creating this journal I hope you enjoyed watching this journal and if you're not subscribed why the heck not click that subscribe button leave me a comment I hope y'all have an amazing Amazing weekend. I hope you are inspired to create and make a big mess. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you totally should. Make sure you check down in the description box below. Until next time, to live.